so I know I usually post a vlog on Sunday. The vlog will be coming sometime during this week, and then probably another one Sunday. But today I have another recipe video that was the most requested one, which is sort of like a cheap, easy meal, like a college student can make pretty much. When I went to the grocery store with my dad and we had some things already, we roughly totaled up everything in our head. Everything would probably come to around, all the ingredients, probably like 25 bucks. But the actual dish proportion is probably like between five and eight dollars, I'd say. So you can definitely make a big batch of this and just even, you can even eat it cold because it is like sort of a fried rice, which you all know tastes good leftover. So I'm not gonna keep you guys too long. Vlog coming this week and I hope you enjoy this video. If you make this dish, make sure you tag me on your story or whatever so I can see it and show my dad later. I'm Chef Susa Lee. Today I'm making you a very cheap, easy dish. Garlic fried rice. The topping would be Asian style ground beef sauce. Okay, let's start. Let's get cooking. First step is making a rice first. Now, even uh, I'm doing some sort of like an Asian European fried rice, but if the rice is uh, left over, night even better. Keep it open, cool it down in the fridge even better with for fried rice. Water goes down. You know, the word is uh, you can squeeze it in a little bit, rinse it off, get rid of the first layer of, of the grain. It tastes better because sometimes, uh, you know, rice need to be aged and dry. So it has a little bit of that smell. Sometimes it's not a pleasant smell. By the time you drain out, you let water and move around a little bit. Let the water go, 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 go. I have two cups of rice and uh, you go part of water. And of course, do a little stir, stir, stir. Push it in. Those are the, all the ingredients you need. Lean ground beef, chili pepper. You, you can, you know, find the bird eye chili if you like it really spicy. Tomato paste, mushroom, eggs, tomato, garlic, and also green onion. And also, you know, I use a little bit of brown sugar. Freshly ground white pepper. Fresh corn. You can only get fresh corn. Frozen corn is all always quite nice. Sauce, I'm gonna make, use oyster sauce, and also soy sauce, sriracha, olive oil, and a little bit of slurry of cornstarch and water. So first step, rice is boiling, corn need to be boiled. Pick it up, put it on, cooking, put it on. Taking off the skin of a tomato, you know, of course, you take the cord out, you just, Hold on to the tip, you just follow the circle and then you hold it, mark it across. Don't cut it through too much, just on the skin. Get ready for the boiling. Little X, well, be a little blessing. Now I have corn boiling, so I use the same water to boil the tomato, peel the skin off. Green onions. So I have two parts. One part, I'm going to cut, mash a little flat so they don't move around. Give a little foundation. Now, if you don't want to cut it in half, that's fine, but you can also, you know, just my nature of being a chef, I always like to cut it in half. Then you cut it into a little sort of like a chevronard. So the white part I'm using for the meat sauce, also onions, that's what I like. Now the second part, I'm using the green part, which is for the egg sauce. This is more than enough onions. Two parts of onion we're using, we're gonna break the eggs. Two eggs. Three eggs. Beating up the eggs. Eggs ready beaten up. So the mushroom, I like to cut it into little chunks, almost like ground beef like. You put everything in, you don't waste. Now mushroom, onions, you know, there's all the ingredients are there. So I put three large mushrooms. If it's small, we put four. I like to keep my corn, uh, cook it very well done because it really brings out the sweetness. Next thing you know, tomato, you put your spin, don't dump it in sometimes, just throw it in submerged in water and count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you're taking it out now. you're taking it out right away cold water one two three four so that's a really a success of peeling the skin garlic I would say, you know, because of this recipe, I like to use about two cloves of garlic. I, I will use two. If you decide it, you get a garlic crusher, that's fine too. You push on the side, you have one ingredient lined up one, two, three, four, five, five different things. Add some chili greens. You know, Holland chilies, right? This is what they call it, the Holland chilies. Came from Indonesia. But, you know, because the Dutch was in Indonesia for the longest time with colonizing uh, the culture, and also they brought chilies. Corn, cooked, you just dunk it out, right? Cool it down with some water. I kept two pans, uh, you know, warm because the rice 
how much time we are seven minutes right meanwhile you know this is uh, i'm making like a chinese style meat sauce simple you don't have to cook for a long time olive oil down if you don't have olive oil just use vegetable oil you have the green onions we have chopped earlier so we have a package of ground beef so i think one portion you know like a burger side patty i think for one person is more than enough so i put a meat in I, I, you know the way i put it in on purposely i don't i don't uh, turn the heat too high because i don't want it to dry out the meat too much just flattening it down then turn it off now so you don't have to saute the meat too much i want it very tender soy sauce a two tablespoon of soy sauce, two tablespoon of uh, oyster sauce, and then uh, one teaspoon of sugar, white powder, a white pinch, pepper. white pepper, not white powder. powder. Yeah. <laughs> what was the heat on before, and then you turned it off? Uh, it was like just like basically, I just want the onion cooked. Now you smash it that up. Now, eight percent cup of water. You turn it back on. You see the way, the, on purposely, I didn't cook it for so long in the beginning of the beef. Now they all open up. So they're more like a ground mint sauce. So they're very smooth, not so lumpy. You know the word is not so lumpy. They're all breaking out, breaking down by the grinding, the size of the grinding. You don't want to saute. When you saute too much, it gets very lumpy. That's one of the trick. Keep it like that now, and then we're going to see the rice. We're going to fry the rice. You know, I would say 80% cooked, but still, I would say 90 to 80%, a little bit pinky fine, because we're going to finish the sauce. So we keep this on the side. The diced tomato, I cut both sides. I think it's like a beef steak tomato. But you know, if you use Roma tomato, it's really good. Uh, any tomato would do uh, in this recipe. So don't go all your way, find a specific tomatoes, as long as they are kind of ripe. Rice is cooked, you can hear the thing. And I, I dice this tomato into a little, sort of like a big cube. Uh -huh. And then, I'm gonna cut the corn. You see, you know what, this is, in a way, if you are in a university, one cutting board, you don't have to wash so many plates. You could put everything into a cutting board, get ready and put it, uh, you know, ready to go to uh, your rice. Mm. Okay, now uh, rice is cooked, then I kind of open up just kind of like, you know, you see the way I cut the rice like this? It means they're losing up the grain. If you use a spoon to break it, they get all lumpy. You see the difference when you're cutting the rice? Olive oil. Garlic and cheese. Yeah. Mushrooms. So meanwhile, I'm going to prepare a little bit of tomato paste. I would say about almost a tablespoon of tomato paste. So you kind of saute until they're kind of transparent. Stir it up a little bit. I would say you can use high heat, it's fine. Of course, uh, corn, we're going to throw this whole corn to break it out. This is such a, you know, without the beef, you can also turn this into a vegetarian. And I will show you how. We're going to put rice. For one person, lots of vegetable. Yes. A little bit of pepper, white pepper in. A little bit of salt, of course. A little pinch of salt. Tomato paste, that's it. In, tomato paste. Stir, stir, stir. Give a little sriracha. Give a little heat in there. Now, after you have sriracha, you need pretty much you turn, turn off the stove. You don't want to change, you know, the property of Frying the chili sauce. Rice go into a bowl. Inverted the bowl. Mm -hmm. Down. We're gonna finish the meat sauce. Come. Tomato. We only need one tablespoon. Get it to boil with the tomato in there. Like slow down the heat. And then I'm just going to you know, mix cornstarch with the water. Four tablespoon of water. One tablespoon of cornstarch. You mix it up together. Two tablespoon because it's quite big. You kind of stick it up a little bit. Now you see that binding together a bit. This is not finished. Now, you see the, the sauce is binding together really hot, very nicely. We are putting the eggs in. Open and the beef, you just pour it in. Little rain of uh, green onions. And 
kitchen. That is my fusion of garlic vegetable corn fried rice. So basically I'm the true test because I'm kind of like close to the age of a college student. I'm your judge for once. What if you have bad taste? Can you open the rice and show, show them open the rice? Yeah, open the rice. Yeah. See the rice in the bottom. Yeah. High in protein, huh? High in protein. First bite each mm -hmm. other. I like the corn with the umami taste. It's spicy. good spice too. Mm -hmm. I really like the corn with the tomato. I didn't think the tomato rice would go well. Yeah, that's really good. You know what I like about this is the corn. If you eat this cold too, it'd be good even mm. if you just put it in your fridge. If somebody's vegetarian, ask them to chop up the tofu. So, oh, really good. Yeah, I'm quite happy about that. What would you give this dish out of 10? I give this a 10 out of 10, I swear to God. Mm -hmm. Especially if you like spice, you can put less or more sriracha and chili if you want, I guess, right? Now, you know, really cost effective too. High, uh, not high. Just this is the end. I already know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this dish, uh, please uh, subscribe and press the button. Uh, I think you should because it's really damn good. And send uh, us photos if you make it, right? Yeah, send a photo. I would love to see uh, how you played it and how, you know, the texture. I'm going to be your really your judge.